Forgotten in the southeastern part of Kruger National Park, a formidable coalition of lions emerges amid African savannas, determined to seize a vast territory. These lions have been the subject of speculation due to the mystery surrounding their lives but have left their mark in one of the most renowned regions across the African continent. Faced with the challenges of the jungle, there is no middle ground that human life knows, for in the wild, the balance will always tip towards a specific side, that of the predator or the victorious. Today, you will discover the story of the Shishanjani Coalition, lions that are astonishingly strong and possess stunning beauty. Go ahead and click the like button if you haven't already subscribed. Subscribe to stay updated on everything, it's free and greatly supports us. Click the like button and let's get into it. In 2010 and 2011 at Kruger National Park in South Africa, the largest reserve in Africa and globally renowned, the Shishanjani Coalition of Lions made their mark. This park is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including the famed Big Five, lions, leopards, elephants, rhinoceroses, and buffaloes. Kruger National Park encompasses a vast territory under legal conservation, but some areas allow legal hunting. Its open borders are surrounded by other reserves, enabling the free movement of animals across this expansive terrain. The protected area alone covers about 20,000 square kilometers. Despite the workers being divided into bases in different locations, the task of understanding, cataloging, and documenting the daily lives of these animals is truly challenging. The southeast of Kruger is not a very touristy area, and as a result, the stories unfolding there don't become as popular. However, in 2010 and 2011, the lion prides that dominated the region gave birth to many cubs. The new males, just born, were unaware that their future would be filled with adventures and demands from Mother Nature. Years passed, and in 2015, these lions left their prides to conquer territories and lionesses. Four of them joined forces, forming a coalition that the park professionals named the Shishanjani Coalition. The Shishanjani lions are direct descendants of the brave Gamandwane lions. The Shishanjani Coalition was formed, but they hadn't conquered anything yet. Together, they simply walked side by side. Every time they approached a territory with another dominant lion, they stopped, observed, and moved on, ignoring the opportunity to become kings. This uncommon behavior for lions caught attention, but it would soon be explained. After a few days of walking, the Shishanjani coalition stopped again and observed another dominant lion with a well-established pride. This particular lion was the strongest they had encountered so far, and the lionesses were the most beautiful and robust. It was then that the Shishanjani coalition launched an attack, taking down the dominant lion of that pride and conquering their first territory. Now, they were kings with the most beautiful queens by their side. The Shishanjani lions weren't ignoring opportunities to be crowned, they were carefully choosing their opponents and queens. Instead of dethroning a weak king, they took down the strongest, most experienced lion and inherited lionesses of equal stature. But the conquests didn't stop there, this was just the beginning. Lions tend to return to the place of their birth at some point in their lives, either to take the crown of their original pride or to spend their final days in the lands where they spent the early years of their existence. In 2014, the four Shishanjani lions decided to return to their native territory and claim the crown. On the way to their homeland, the Shishanjani coalition conquered another pride equally powerful as the first. Their mani seemed touched, thick with a black edge that made these kings even more imposing. Upon reaching the territory of their birth, they realized that the Gamandwane lions had had their time of glory but were now old and tired. Despite their battle experience, age limited their movements. The four males of the Shishanjani coalition were aware of this and seized the opportunity to claim the crown, reigning over their mothers and sisters who were the most powerful lionesses in the southeast of the park. Upon entering the territory of their Gamandwane parents, the Shishanjani lions advanced ferociously, driving out the elderly kings, taking down their cubs, and seizing their kin. Now, they had control over about three prides, one of them from their own lineage in the southeast of the park. There were other strong and powerful prides in the eyes of onlookers, but they weren't enough for the Shishanjani. These kings desired only large lionesses who could provide them with distinctive offspring. These initial years of dominance went unnoticed by the park workers as the Shishanjani lions resided in the less spotlighted southeast area of Kruger. Consequently, various stories circulated in the media about the beginning of their journey. 
This would change and the Shoshangini lions would have their days documented by different observers. When the first cubs of the last conquered pride were born, the Shoshangini coalition gathered all the females and moved westward in Kruger, changing their territory and seeking new horizons. During this journey, the Shoshangini lions coveted a pride that would serve them well and came into conflict with two males from the Hippo Pools coalition. They expelled them and took their females. Now, they had control over four prides and many lionesses for their enjoyment. The following months were peaceful, with many cubs being born. The Shoshangini coalition settled near the river in the western part and enjoyed a bit of their lives, challenging any nomadic males that approached the vicinity of their kingdom. However, in the African jungle, every period of peace has a deadline, and that deadline had come for the Shoshangini lions. To keep their lionesses and cubs safe, the lions divided into pairs and conducted nightly patrols periodically, as is customary for dominant male lions. In 2019, during one of these patrols, one of the lions returned alone, showing no signs of feline fights. Some believe that one of the members of the Shoshangini coalition fell victim to an illegal hunter while the other managed to escape. The coalition, once composed of four lions, now only had three and they deeply felt the absence of their comrade. For weeks, they roared in the early morning hours, searching for the bond that was taken from them. It seemed that tough times were just beginning for the coalition because a month after losing one member, another Shoshangini lion was struck by fate. He sustained a severe injury to one of his thighs, damaging the muscle. It's unclear whether it occurred during a hunt or a confrontation with another lion. The injured feline appeared wounded and limping, significantly affecting the daily lives of the mighty Shoshangini kings. The injured king could no longer fight, hunt, or conduct patrols. He walked very little and became dependent on the lionesses for food as his leg atrophied, further limiting his movements. Only two kings remained healthy and they continued to defend their territory. Whenever possible, they spent time with their injured brother, displaying loyalty even amid the disability he now faced. It was as if the jungle was demanding repayment for every drop of blood shed by the Shoshangini. The last updates on the Shoshangini coalition were in early 2020, indicating that the injured king was deteriorating and his life would soon be lost. The two healthy brothers were on the verge of having their territory invaded by a coalition of five lions en route to their domain. If you have any additional information about them, please share it in the comments. As a point of curiosity, the Shoshangini coalition was often confused with the Shoshangan coalition, born in the same region, intertwining their stories. However, very little of their lives has been documented. Please don't leave the video without hitting the like button, subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed it, and share this video. Thank you very much for watching.